Excellent. Um, hi, my name's Amy Mann. I am the um, acting chair of the AAIP Commission. Um, we will go ahead and hit to our go to our agenda, which our friend um, Angela sent out today. Does everybody have a copy of that? Yes. Okay. Um, we also need to, before we do that, we need to approve our minutes. But the only change I would have on minutes is that our minutes say agenda. Yes. I agree. Yeah. For once, for once I agree with Cindy. Yes, let's change it. <laughs> and I, know, I usually never Cindy notice Cindy. things like that, but yeah. Shame on me for using the city template. <laughs> I need a minute template. Oops. Okay. The so, agenda was sent out today. I didn't receive it. Uh, it was a couple days ago. Yeah, yeah, it was several days ago, actually, like Monday. So do you need me to uh, email it over to you, Peter? Well, let me look back. Okay. Meantime, can we quickly take roll call formally on the recording? Yeah, they, yeah, they sure, let's please do that. Thank you. Yeah, that's exactly what I can do. Okay. Um, I, can, I can do that. I have a list right here. I do, too. So, uh, Andrea is here. Here. Kim is not necessarily on our. Randy? Here. Peter? Here. Uh, Cindy? Here. Um, Eileen? Erin? <coughs> Holly? Marsha is here. Susan? Nicole? And that's all I can see. So, um, as far as missing goes, I need to go to our missing list, which I have. One second here. Oh, wow. My missing is not here. That's all right. We're missing Noah Hess, who is excused. We are missing Francis Parker, who is excused, as well as Pamela Bachelor, who is also excused. <clears throat> and I'm Excellent. here. It's Holly. Holly's here, but Pam Pamela Bachelor is not here. And Holly is. So. Okay, I'm I know here. Echo that sounds like Laurel, but. No, no. I think I've hit. Hey y'all, would you mind muting your computer if you're not talking? We're getting like a TV or something in the background. Thank you. Okay. All right. Uh, and then Nicole, can you please confirm that we have no public to be heard today? I do not have anyone who has contacted us. Yeah, I was just about to move on to that. Wait. Um, so again, let's go back to the minutes. Um, I, um, do we have any other changes aside from it being that we need to change it to minutes instead of agenda? I'm looking here. Okay, so then we need a motion to approve the minutes with the changes. I move to adopt the May 28th minutes with one change. All in favor? We need a second. A second. Second. All in favor? All opposed? I'm trying to flip through everybody's face. Okay, great. Thank you. Um, minutes have been approved. Um, are there any additions or corrections to the August 20th, 2020 agenda? I can't find a copy. If, if Angela could send me, a, uh, I can print it out right away. Yep, just give me a second. I'll email it right over. Okay, take your time. Thank you. Aside from Peter, do we, um, while he's waiting for that, does anybody have any changes?
I'm not sure if we move on that or not, Angela. But okay, I didn't think so. Okay. So let's go over to our friend Angela and start to move with commissioner introductions. Um, and our first one would be Aaron. Aaron, would you like to share with us a little bit about who you are and why you're here and how you got here and all those great things? Sure. <clears throat> sure thing. Um, hi, everyone. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Um, my name is Erin Helser. I've been here in Longmont for the past five and a half years. And, um, I used to work for Visit Longmont and uh, was the marketing and sales director there and was involved with the art community um, quite a bit and with the museum and everything. And I really enjoyed it. And I enjoyed working with people that I met and artists and wanted to get back involved again when I had the opportunity. I left Visit Longmont to become a stay-at-home mom and I'm back to work. My kiddo's back, um, he's three, and is in daycare right now, and they are open now, finally, um, <laughs> which is a relief. As I work from home, um, I now work for Sticker Giant, another local Longmont company, so I'm just, I'm happy to be here. Thanks. Erin, I think you and I were on Leadership Longmont together. You look familiar and sound yeah. familiar, yeah. Yeah, I think we were in Leadership Longmont together. We're so glad to have you here. <laughs> And Aaron, it's so nice to see you. Hi, Kim. How's your little one? Not so little anymore. He's <laughs> up to my hips. And <laughs> but he's doing great. Great. I'm so glad you've joined the commission. This is exciting. Yeah, yes. it's great. Um, I've, I have friends at Sticker Giant, too, so that's an offline conversation we should <laughs> chat about. All right. Um, I know we have a, one other new person um, but it's not on my agenda. Is that the case? Uh, no one knew except for Miss Randy Long. It, oh, it, yes. She reapproved. Stamp signed and approved. So welcome back, Randy. Because all because technically the first amount of time that Randy was with us wasn't a full term. She filled in for someone else. So the last three years were technically her first term. So she likes us well enough that she signed <laughs> more years. Yay! <laughs> so, yep. So that's us. We do have vacancies. So if you have anyone who is interested, which also includes you should artists, you should um, said that yeah, she might be interested and might be applying. So that's yeah, again, if you. I'm sorry to interrupt you. If you are um, talking or you have something going on in your world outside, outside which happens, happens, please mute yourself. It just makes it hard for us to hear. I know my dog might start barking at any point. We just don't know. So um, I've learned that from many a Zoom lessons. Okay, great. Um, so we've introduced our friend Aaron. We welcome Randy back. Um, from what I see on our agenda is that we have to um, have a nomination and vote of officers. Is that correct, Angela? Can Can I stop this for just one second? Because I do think for Aaron's benefit, it might be nice for all of us to introduce ourselves. Excellent, Kim. Great point. Yeah, I think we can go around, Robin, just real quick and be brief. So maybe start. Amy, can you see everyone on your... Yeah, sure. Uh, my name's Amy Mann, and then I'll go around. Um, I have this is my last year on the AIP Commission. I've been chair for two years or, I don't know, one year, just for a while. Um, I didn't think I would love it as much as I do, and I absolutely love it. So welcome, Aaron, and it's good to see a familiar face. Um, let's go, Andrea. Would you mind introducing yourself? Hi, Aaron. My name is Andrea, and I've been on the commission off and on for 20 years or so. Um, I just kind of have figured out how to be on it all the time. <laughs> and it's really fun and I think you will enjoy it. So welcome. Peter. Yeah, I'm Peter Alexander. I've been, I think this is, I've been on two years. Is that right? I think so. Um, and uh, yeah, I enjoy it too. It's a great group of people. Um, and it's, I think that what, the uh, is uh, it's just so important 
Uh, and you, this is one of the things that I noticed about Longmont when I first moved here, it was all of the public art of all kinds. Thank you, Peter. Um, Susan. Welcome, Erin, and I'm Susan Horowitz, and um, I joined AIPP June-ish, and then it was all Zooming, so, <laughs> but it's been a lot of fun, and um, welcome to the board. Kim. I'm Kim Manage. I'm the director at the Longmont Museum, and I'm not technically on the commission, but because the museum administers the art and program, I'm, I, I show up every once in a while, so you'll, you'll see my face. Great. Thank you, Kim. Randy? I'm, there you okay. Go. I, I know. I, had to, I have three screens going. I'm at work here. So. I got gotcha. you. Um, hi, I'm Randy. I've been on the commission four and a half years. Um, I am from Miami, Florida originally. I've lived in Longmont 10 years. This is my second time living in Colorado. Um, I'm vice chair and I really love this commission and that's why I re-upped and that's my co-worker talking that's why you hear that um you stole our it or aaron you stole our it guy zach at sticker and he is fantastic so say hi to him for me <laughs> and uh that's it thanks um randy soon to be chair angela share who you are so I'm Angela Brill, and I am the new Art and Public Places Administrator. My predecessor was in the position for nearly 20 years, so if you can believe that. Uh, so it's, a you know, large shoes to fill, programmatic shoes to fill on that front. But uh, so I've been on the job almost a year, and then, of course, half of that has been <laughs> madness. Um, so it's, it's been an interesting year, but... Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to meeting you and learning about you and your interests and see what task force you'd like to join and how you would like to participate with Art in Public Places. And I do know that we met at Day of the Dead because I was pounding in pavement trying to recruit people for, for this. So thank you for, for considering it. So I am just going through the Brady Bunch files here. Um, Susan, I think we heard from you, correct? You did. Okay, you're back in my Brady Bunch not heard from file. So, um, Eileen? Hi, everybody. I'm Eileen. I'm the registrar at the Longmont Museum, and I am pitching in to take notes. Uh, and we are all trying to figure out this working from home situation. So, we're all pitching in. <laughs> uh, Thank you, Eileen. We're really grateful to you. Miss Cindy Tiger. Hi, that's me. I'm Cindy Tiger. I don't know how long I've been on the board, but it isn't long enough. And I think this whole Zoom working from home thing should not count toward our final amount of time we've been spending on the board. I think it should count double time. Miss <laughs> uh, Holly. Hey, Erin, welcome. I'm Holly Bradish Lane. And I joined Art in Public Places just last year. So we're super glad to have another face with us. Welcome. Thanks, Holly. Holly has been a huge, um, she just jumped on and started leading from day one. So I bet you'll um, enjoy being with her. Ms. Marsha, our wonderful city council rep. Yes, hi, I am Ms. Marsha Martin, the city council liaison. I don't get a vote, which is a wonderful, tremendous relief to me mm -hmm. um, because all the decisions you guys make are so hard. So hi, everybody. And this is probably the last thing you'll hear out of me all evening. Hope not. We'd love to hear from you, Marsha. Um, Nicole. Nicole Blair. Um, I am the executive assistant for community services, and I just got recruited to help run uh, virtual Zoom meetings. So I'm literally just sitting here watching you guys all talk. So it works for me. Holler if you need anything. <laughs> I 
Amy, I think you're muted, my dear. That's probably better. Um, I just said I've been on okay. meeting since eight o'clock this morning. So okay. do you hear me now? Yeah. I was right. just admiring my haircut that I gave myself this morning. Looks <laughs> <laughs> so, great. <laughs> really? Um, so this is, I think, my third round as a commissioner. And um, so I'm on until next summer. Um, I've been, I'm an expert and I've been here in Colorado almost 50 years. And I love it. And I love art in public places. I, and I, I mean, Longmont is just fabulous when it comes to supporting the arts. I'm proud to be a part of it. Thanks, Laurel. Thank you. It's wonderful to have you, and it's wonderful to see everybody's faces. I've missed you all so much. I'm like looking around at my Brady Bunch files here. I keep accidentally uh, muting myself. So um, we've done our welcomes, and I'm sure um, our wonderful um, leader, Angela, will help me with this. But it looks like on our number seven item that we need to do nomination and vote of officers. Is that correct, Ms. Angela? That is. So um, our nominations, we, if you'll recall, uh, we brought it up in the springtime. So the last time that we met in person was in March. And so it was, uh, at that time, it was really consider if it's something that you would be interested in doing. Well, you know, we've been sitting on that egg for a while. Uh, according to our guidelines, we executive team is supposed to meet in October to look at the next year's budget. Um, our budget is staying very flat and uh, prioritize the projects, of course, for the upcoming year and look at the projects that we've accomplished this year. So getting those um, executive seats filled and uh, as soon as possible so we can meet that October deadline would be ideal. So. Um, if we just need to nominate tonight and everyone needs to sleep on it, I do believe that we will continue to do meetings in this fashion uh, going forward. Uh, you can see that it takes quite a bit of city resources. Um, you know, we have, we have five city employees here to make this happen, um, but it's important. And uh, so if, if we can expedite the process and do nominations and do voting, we do have quorum this evening. So it, it would be ideal for me. But uh, if anybody needs to sleep on it, absolutely fine. Is everybody going to close their eyes when we vote? <laughs> I'll do whatever we need to do, my friends. <laughs> okay. Or I can send, um, it is an open meeting, but uh, yeah, I can send a, a way to vote via email or otherwise if you don't want to vote this evening. I don't know if you can do polls. Um, polls are pretty cool. Um, it may be something that, that w tonight might not be the best time to start it, but it's actually very exciting to do polls on here. Okay. I cannot do it. I just look to see, um, because I'm not the head honcho, but in the future, that might be something we would like to investigate for Zoom. Okay. And it, it might not be necessary if we have just like one person nominated for each position. It won't even so, matter. So. so let's. You won't hurt my feelings, I promise. Let's go forward if you're agreeable. Uh, if there is more than one person nominated and accepts the nomination for any executive seat, uh, then we'll just plan to do voting otherwise. If there's only a single nomination and a single person for each chair. If everyone's comfortable voting tonight, that would be super. How's that sound? Thumbs up for sound good? Looks like, okay, great. Let's, if you're, I don't, I don't think we need a motion for that, so we can just go forward. Anyone want to nominate? Anyone want to uh, volunteer for 2020-2021? Volunteer for what? I mean, should we just start at the top? Start yeah, at that's probably well. Okay. So starting with chair. 
maybe I'll look at you, Amy, and say, would you like to continue on as chair? I would love to continue on as chair for my remaining um, eight month tenure. So yeah, we'll probably end up doing this again, getting back on our normal schedule come April, just to get us back to semblance of normal. I uh, will like, I, I think my term expires in May or okay. July, one of those. I would be happy to continue my term until then if I am accepted. Anyone else interested in chair position? I, I would like to nominate Randy. Randy, interested in up into chair? I don't think I would have the bandwidth, honestly. The bandwidth? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. I, I do not mind remaining at vice chair if that is an option. Well, I nominate Brandy for vice chair. <laughs> All right. Do we have any other interest or nominations for chair position? Any other nominations or stepping up for vice chair position? How about treasure? Because that is something with the strategic planning uh, and really I would love to create a working spreadsheet that we review. Anyone interested in or nominating treasure? This is Holly. I've had some experience with finances in the past. I would be willing Awesome. Anybody else interested in treasurer or nominating? Go ahead, Susan. I can't hear you. So we have Susan and Holly. It's the. Uh, I, can I nominate Holly for treasurer? Yes. All right. And, and Aaron was raising her hand. Yeah, Aaron. Too. You raised your hand for something. I did raise my hand, but only just to, to volunteer if nobody else wanted to. Thank you, Erin. We also have a secretary position as well. And we would love we to have you. I need someone to look over the minutes and tell me that it needs to be titled minutes. <laughs> Again, if no one else is interested. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so we would need a nomination for that. Laurel, is that? I, I would nominate Great. Aaron for treasurer. Secretary. Oh, I'm sorry, secretary. Thank you. All right. So since we have quorum and we don't have any sort of doubling up, are we feeling free to vote tonight? Yes. Great. Yes. I move that we accept the uh, this board of officers as presented. I second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Hold them up for Aye. a minute. I can't vote. If you are running, you can't vote, by the way. Oh. oh. Because we did a mass vote. If we would have done like individual, we could have. Does that give us quorum if we do it that way? Yeah. We, we have quorum. Um, did we get a second though? I yes. Um, Me. Uh, um, Cindy seconded. C C Cindy. Okay, mm -hmm. all in favor? All opposed? Thank you, everyone. I am gracious. Thank you. I promise to make my last seven months good.
So uh, the next thing that I will do, executive committee, is I will just get um, some dates in front of you of a time for some times for us to meet so we can get those on the calendar. Okay? Great. Um, it looks like, my friends, that we are up to um, public art project. So um, if you look at your agenda, um, Art on the Move 2020 is our first item. Miss Angela. All right. I'm going to rip through these updates. And you're going to be so proud because last time that we met in May, where we accomplished so much, we actually put a number of these things um, into motion. Uh, despite our uh, despite our challenges. So we voted um, and those results were sent to you. And of the seven artists that were selected, six of them have been installed, including the Safety and Justice Building with the paintings. And Judge Frick, by the way, is so excited. So there is now a very nice, classy, uh, installation hanging mechanism so you don't have to pound holes in the wall and uh, we'll be able to move art in and out of there and it has just transformed that waiting space. I can't remember the numbers uh, that Judge Frick had told me of the people. Andrea, you, you were there. There were a number of us there uh, when he was saying how many people go in and out of that waiting room. Um, I believe it's in, it's in like the 30,000. Um, it's, it's significant. So uh, that is, it's really wonderful. Um, so labels are being done. A postcard will be sent out to folks and telling them where the locations are as soon as Annette Coleman finishes her piece and it gets installed. So uh, that is very exciting. And those artists have been paid. And um, yeah, in this day and age, it's just so important to remember the creatives and what they bring to the community. So that we were able to accomplish that is, is huge. So well done. Yes, Cindy. I um, went by the recycle center and saw the motorcycle installed. It looks great. It looks really fabulous. It's really great. And uh, we got this small crane to, to install it and uh, people started stopping and they were watching and they were concerned that it was going to be recycled. And <laughs> this was, so it's very funny, but it's, yeah, it's a great piece and it totally belongs there. So anyways, good. Well, so I know we'll say it a hundred times, Angela, but you've been just really wonderful and doing such a fantastic job. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. This work from home business is for the birds though. <laughs> I miss my office, <laughs> but all right. So then moving on to shock art, yep. uh, I, I can't believe just how popular this program is in our community and the sunshine that it brings. So I don't know if you all had an opportunity to go in and to vote and to look at all of these submissions, but uh, 40 applications, 38 artists were able to complete the scale model, get them turned in. And then of course, trying to minimize the digital divide. We did have the pieces on display at the museum once the museum opened. Uh, it was unfortunate, of course, not to be able to have the community event and bring people together that way. But, but we still did a doggone good job with 2,800 unique email and, and humans that voted for these pieces. So, wow. I mean, and it, it is a testament to you as well and getting the word out and letting people know about the program. So, we did select seven artists. Uh, of those, five are from Longmont. So, you know, these dollars are going back into the hands of the, the creatives in the community. Uh, we do have one person from Denver and one person who I'm pretty sure she lived in Longmont and either graduated and now she's in Virginia or North Carolina or something, but she's coming back. So, uh, very interesting selections and the task force, thank you very much for getting the location sent to me. And um, LPC, is, we're priming the boxes right now. Contracts are about to the city attorney's office to be reviewed. And as soon as those are signed, the boxes will be primed, will debug, and the artist will be out there. So I'm gonna try and uh, pin down when they will be painting. 
and present that to the community as an opportunity to go and see something happening from a safe social distant uh, manner. So stay tuned for that. So that's excellent. Excellent. So um, Ursula is next. No, wait, I have a comment. Yeah. On Sorry. The um, kudos to you, Angela, for coming up with a way that we could vote online. We have been trying to do that for years. So thank it was the it was, thank you, but it really it wasn't me. Uh, I took the photos, but I connected with our communications department with the city, and I think that of this COVID business, if we've if we've learned anything, it's we're better when we work together. And uh, Harold was saying it at a city manager's off uh, meeting today that there have just been so many aha moments that have come out of this, and that that collaboration and reaching out beyond your your office doors has really been something. So. Yeah, I thought it was pretty slick. And um, the way of deduping, because there were, there were uh, like 250 people who found a way to get beyond the, you know, the security thing. But I was able just to zip it into a report. The um, software took care of the dedupes anyway. And then I cross referenced it to my Excel spreadsheet and it matched. So it was pretty slick pretty slick so yeah, no no more writing putting hash marks on you know voting this person and <laughs> no it, yeah, it, it wouldn't have been slick down. without you sister it would not have been slick thank you so much i just want to say Whoa. that the submissions were fantastic it, it was so hard to figure out you know to vote i love them all and uh it was it, i think it was a great season so the Longmont leader reached out to us and we'll be seeing uh, something in the paper very soon. Um, yeah, it absolutely is a testament to the creatives in our community. They're, they're really skilled. And, uh, and you'll recall that you had upped the price uh, to maintain a certain standard of fair, fair wage. So they received 500 more dollars this year than they have in the past. And for awesome. one artist, um, I can't remember the name of her business, but it was on Main Street next to Rosalie's. And she had to close down her business. And coincidentally, her, her uh, lease was up at the same time. So at, in April, so it kind of was a good transition for her. But this commission has, uh, it has saved her in a lot of ways. And she was just really, really uh, grateful. So, you know, supporting these creatives, it makes a difference, it makes a big difference. So. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so that is that, and I will give you updates when uh, you can expect to see painting happening. Great. Thank you so much, Angela. And let's talk Ursula. So Ursula Major is the, vein, the bane of my existence. Is that how you say it? Yeah. This bear, this doggone bear, um, is a real trick. So if you'll recall, we were going to install it next to Jester's um, and where that parking lot is on second and main and so we had talked to the owner of the building and come to find out the city doesn't own that land which is fine so i contacted the owner and said hey let's just get an easement underway and verbally he said yeah that's fine and then he went to mexico i'm not joking and we're making plans and i've got an easement agreement going through the city attorney's office and he gets back and he says you know i changed my mind i'm i'm not joking so I have a new location for you. This is location number five, <laughs> but it's a done deal. I met with the DRC yesterday. I have spoken to all my city partners who have all the answers in the world and um, I'm feeling good to go. So I'm gonna show it to you. There it is. Oh, See, it is a very bad Photoshop of a very cool piece of art. But the more important part is we own that land and uh, it is sufficient for, for the footer. We won't have to move anything except for a little bit of irrigation. No trees are going to die. Uh, it's the East uh, Breezeway at 3rd and Main. Uh, my next task is going to be contacting the
the owner of Jensen Guitars there. I've already popped into Barbed Wire Books just to give them a heads up. Uh, so what I wanted to ask today of you is, uh, number one, I don't think we need a vote, but we probably should take one just for good measure. Um, Sorry, did you say third in Maine? In Jensen Guitars? I, I'm not Jensen. familiar. So that's it's not, Jensen. It's not Guitars, etc. cetera? I think it's Jensen. It's at 350 Maine. Cool. Barbed wire books is on fifth. Yeah, it's fifth in Maine, and so is guitars, etc. So that no, okay. the, used, the used bookstore is what you're used talking bookstore. about. Used okay. bookstore, not yeah. barbed wire. Thank you. Right. Um, but so I spoke to uh, someone in planning who actually put the um, uh, pavers down because, of course, you know my the new challenge is that Maine is all closed. And getting a forklift in there is going to be a real bear. <laughs> <laughs> so I know now that um, I'm good to roll up on those pavers. Uh, I'm just going to get a right of way permit. And uh, yeah, so I might ask for some help that day, maybe for a little crowd control. Once I I'm happy. Do you, do you want a sign up sheet? I'll do I'll send around a sign up. That'd be but great. You know what day? Say one do more time. Which no. state? You don't we know have yet? To, we have to pour concrete first. Okay. And then concrete needs to dry. So but, we don't have to pour concrete, right? <laughs> well, I'm going to hire somebody to pour concrete, but yes. So, all right. Um, so maybe for good measure, if, if the commission is agreeable to the fifth location, uh, if we can approve that and move that on through, that would be super helpful. Again, so could we have a motion to approve a new location? I move to, I move to approve the new Peter, you just cut yourself out, friend. I move to approve the new location. Of, do we need that? Of Rusa Major. Excellent. Anybody Third second Avenue, that? Breezeway. Excellent. Anybody second that motion? I second. Um, all in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Hey, Thanks. Angela. I just want to pipe in and say, despite the pain that you've gone through with this, I think it's actually a great location. I think we kind of ended up with the best location. Yeah, good job, Angela. Yeah. It's, it's so funny. So the spot that I thought was the best, of course, the city forester came and told me, you're going to spend so much money moving concrete don't do that okay so yeah it, it is a good location and uh, people love this piece they love it so uh yeah it's isn't that crazy the kids love it everybody loves ursula yeah but her name is weird no i'm just yeah trying. no I, it's it's darling and we got such good reception when she was on maine so this is great thank you angela for your hard work or susan um was there another piece there? Was there, like, it was that where the, it was kind of this cone, inverted cone of um, twigs and wires. Was there something else on that pedestal? You know, I don't know. And someone with the DRC asked me the same question. So that's a uh, right, design review committee. And uh, there's no concrete there. So however it was installed, it must have been just installed by its own weight or in the turf. Yeah, Erin? There was something there. When Arts Longmont used to be right there on that block, they had a piece there. So I'm assuming when they moved or closed, I should say, it was removed. And I, I just want to say one thing, that the traffic on that breezeway uh, is increasing because of the way Main Street is closed with that one lane, you have to park in that parking lot uh, behind there and then walk. So it's, it's a great location. It was a, it was a LDDA when I just went and we walked up and down and up and down and just said we have got to find a place because bless parker mcdonald's heart but he's been waiting for too long so uh yeah we're gonna knock this out and get it done so um great well that is very helpful thank you i have phone calls to make tomorrow <laughs> get us moving 
Um, how about sister cities? So I have not sent out the RF uh, Q for sister cities. And just to be real honest with you, I need to tidy some of these up before I put something else on my plate, but it's written and it's ready to go. I don't think that we should have any trouble getting panelists, although uh, we did include it in one of our newsletters and no one had, had really applied. So if you have folks out in the community who they want to participate in art in public places, but maybe uh, don't, don't have the time or bandwidth for these monthly meetings, but would want to participate. Again, it's maybe three meetings over a couple of months. Uh, we'll do it in the winter time. Uh, so the artist, whomever is selected can get started in the spring. So um, out there in your world, if you want to try and encourage people to fill out that application, or of course I can always mail it to them with a self-addressed envelope, uh, that would be really helpful. Thank you, Angela. That's good to know. I know this has been, this has been going on for, uh, <clears throat> pardon me, for many of us for a long time, right, Cindy? Yes. Do you know when that RFQ will go out? Is that the RFQ for the artists? It's going to be for artists, not proposals, for qualifications for someone interested. And so then at the same time the RFQ is open, we'll really push to get a selection panel put together, which will include some of the Sister Cities folks. Um, Steve Ranswiler with Parks needs to confirm the pad size, but I think it's 25 feet by 25 feet. Um, so that was kind of the latest on that, but that's inconsequential to put the RFQ out. I just, I need to get this bear installed before I put something else on my plate, really. So no, that's great. That's a great point. Well, thank you so much. And I know you're working so hard on that. How about Ortega? So this is really interesting. Uh, so Tony Ortega, we are working on the contract for that um, mural. We have a location and the easement I'll figure it out. So it is going to be on the west uh, breezeway at four. And so it's where the epiphany piece for Art on the Move is. It's a, mm. There was a little boutique there that just went out, I'm afraid. Um, Anyways, so Tony was going to, and what Tony does, as you, you may recall from our May 28 meeting, is usually uh, community gatherings and getting people together to help do the community mural. Well, in the, in the days of COVID, we don't know what that's gonna look like. So the museum has, staff has been really very smart in leaving it flexible enough and open enough that if there is an opportunity to uh, gather community, um, youth, that we can. Uh, but they would also like to invite you commissioners to come and paint with Tony as well. So uh, Tony is working on a sketch. You will probably get that outside of a commission meeting. There may need to be a vote to approve the sketch. I have to go back and review our guidelines and, and charter that way. But um, And then you'll probably get an invite for sometime in September to come and paint depending on what that looks like. But it's moving forward and it will be installed before Dia de los Muertos and yeah, it's very exciting. Tony's very excited too. We talked to him again. Eileen, it's tomorrow, right? Tomorrow. Yeah. I don't think you want me to come and paint, but maybe a few other of you would be wonderful. I think That's it's a little glorified color by numbers, but just really working with Tony to understand his vision. So could be not, a really great opportunity. Not to split yeah. hairs, but the West Breezeway on 4th on the South Wall or the North Wall? North Wall. Thank you. Yep. All right, friends, let's talk conservation reports. I, <clears throat> I'm not going to lie. I signed up for mine, but I haven't gone yet. Um, and I think some of us are in the same boat. So let's go and let Angela tell us what we need to do. Go. Well, I guess the first thing is, um, I know Peter, I know that you um, had submitted things and images. Thank you very much. But how is uh, this working for everyone? Has anyone had a trouble with the form? Uh, is it helpful? It's, I designed it based upon the uh, reports that you had done by hand in the past. So yes, Peter. It, it was so easy. 
for me to do. I was just so pleased. It turned out so easy that I love it. Great. It looks really easy and I'm looking forward to doing it, but I don't want to duplicate other people's work and I can't tell what's been chosen and what hasn't, what's still open. That's, oh, that's, that's the, one of the comments I was going to make. That yeah. but when you go in there, you, you choose an artwork, there's a list of all your artworks, but it doesn't say what has already been done. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, I've chosen artworks that I was going to, knew I was going to be seeing. Um, and I, there needs to be a way to deal with uh, in one part to them, which some of them do. Um, and I, I wasn't quite sure where to put the comments that, that I had to make. It, it, this, I can't remember exactly what it says, because it's been a while since I did those. Um, and I've actually, I've, I have looked at a couple more that I need to, to check uh, and, and anyway, the ones around McIntosh Lake. I've been out there and taken pictures of all of those. I did those. I did those, Peter. Oh, did you? Well, and I think that that's where um, the reason that I, well, there's two reasons that I didn't uh, have it where something was signed up and it disappeared was to, because it's been a number of years now since everything was looked at. So even if there were two reports to see if they came up the same way, and we really are light on photo documentation. So I thought, well, the more people, the better to go and take looks at things, to take looks, take a gander at, at pieces. We also have an intern who will be helping us this fall. Uh, and frankly, since we're not in the office, uh, to fill in some of those gaps might be what she will be working on as well. So. Um, all right, so it sounds like since I, I, yeah, since I have a question for it, Andrea. Uh, did, did you get photos? You know, I didn't. Okay, so I, I, I've got photos of it. all of those half mile markers all around, and then no, the one big I, I piece. didn't. There's nothing wrong with them. The only that's why I didn't take a photograph, except that they need to be a couple of them need to be mowed around on the yeah, far side of the lake. And that well, there's, was it. There's, one, there's one that's been bent down and there's a, just a tiny little bit of graffiti or something on it. I've, I've got pictures of all of those. Oh, okay. And also the, hey. the, the larger piece that's in the park there. Hey, can we explain to Aaron what this is about a little bit? Because Aaron's brand new and if I were here, I'd be like, whoa, what the heck are they talking about? So Aaron, um, we have maintenance reports. One of the, our um, responsibilities as commissioners, um, and Angela can talk about this too, is to go visit sites and look at them and see what their maintenance issues are. And so there is a sign up sheet you can go to and pick what you want to look at. And um, I'm sure um, Angela will explain that to you more. But I, I thought, wow, you're probably in the dark right now. So I would be really confused. Right, Angela? You know, yeah. you know, when someone has picked one, what, what there needs to be like a, a, a red check mark or something that appears next to it. It okay. shouldn't disappear, but there should be something that, that shows up to indicate that it's been chosen. Um, um, that yeah. would make it easier. I'm really excited to look at ones that nobody's been looking at, you know, that maybe haven't been looked at in years. I would be really thrilled to go out and find these and hunt them up and take reports and everything, but really I just need a list. Okay. I don't, we're only 12 people and if all 12 people go to the same 12 things, then we don't have enough to fulfill our, our, our quota. Over hey, maybe one, I'm missing something, but I signed up for like individual things that Angela posted. I was able to find like, okay, I'm gonna do this one, this one, this one, and this one. And what if I, I go to that list and I sign up for those same ones? Because yeah. I don't even find it. It's possible. Okay. Yeah. So, so again, this really wasn't uh, our, our first pilot launch of the, of the form. And I didn't, uh, I, I was hoping that it was going to be as easy as it is. But I thought there was going to be a little bit more of a learning curve. So I didn't enact the check off and then, um, 
and not allow, I, I allowed there to be duplicates in case someone had issues with the form that they still got taken care of. So that'll be the next piece of it in the next iteration. Uh, the other thing is that you can go and see the pieces more than once, right? Throughout the season. Um, you know, if once the mowing's done, then you kind of go back and see if it's being maintained. Um, Andrea, were you able to look at the one out front of the museum? Yes, uh, that one, um, New Moon or whatever, I think it's called New Moon. It's, uh, it's peeling at the base. Yeah. So that was surprising because I, I didn't even, I thought it was like an iron. I didn't realize it was even painted. So yeah. that was interesting to see that that's kind of corroding. My, my kid we went to the museum to drop off some cones and my kid went over there and looked at it and she said, mom, you need to clean that up. So I thought, oh, I better have somebody go look at that. So I'm gonna take a look at that. Um, we still do have uh, funds in our maintenance line item on the budget for this year. So I will get this fixed uh, right away so people can check something off and go and take a look at it. And if there's something that is uh, sticks out to you, as well as Cindy Tiger, you and I had discussed um, any labels that are missing. That's another big one. Uh, that's we could get we could get in production this year with the new city branding. So get everything updated and get those installed this year, no problem. Um, and there should be a mark on the form if the plaque is there or not. So um, all right, I'll make those changes and then I will resend. Anything else? I know the plaque on the museum is totally off. It's just this plastic plaque. And there's a wasp nest on it. So bring your raid. Yeah. I, drive, I ride up and down Missouri Avenue frequently. And uh, there are three sculptures on Missouri uh, before you get to the underpass um, for Main Street. And so, I, I mean, I, I'm happy to sign up for anything along the bike path, really, because um, I'm there. Laura, why don't you go ahead and look at the list? and see what you can find because I'm sure there are, there, there are things on there that would really, um, you would be able to help us with. I, I've done the ones along the left-hand um, path and left-hand park. Um, left-hand green, the uh, St. Vrain Greenway or left-hand no, creek? Left-hand creek, the, the one that goes eventually towards Boulder. It goes, it goes out of town and it goes down through, through uh, Niwot. Yeah, but there's this left hand park there and there's the there's the picnic with the ant uh -huh. the ants. I've done that one and then there's one along the along the uh, bike path there, there's about, about four or five different pieces. It's called Nature's Way or something like that. Yeah, and behind the that. stores. No, no, south, down um past the museum. And then down, like by Southmore Park, down there. Right, right. Which, you as you'll you recall, those actually have to move. So as, as you look at them, if you can think of somewhere else for them to go. They uh, have to move? Why do they mm -hmm. have to move? Because they're in the floodplain. Those, that's part of Richard Tolley's three-part series, those three pieces that we have to move. So the no, 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 Angela. Those are up on the same brain bike path. Oh, right, oh, right, between, right, right. Between Isaac Walton and um, Rogers Park. Those oh, that, oh, not those. Yes. that we were talking about are different. Okay. It's, 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 you, you go past Connie Motor Park, is is on the right, and there's two big pieces that are, that are part of it, and then there are smaller pieces uh, along the bike path. Great catch, Cindy and Peter. And I, I, it's nature's way or something like that. Yeah. And, yeah. And, uh, so and I'll make these. One was missing a label. I took pictures of all of them and, and showed the label. And, and I'm sure it. Angela will make the updates and she'll let us know who's doing what and where. Right, Angela? I will, and I will make these changes so it's available for you to sign up for something and see what is already accounted for, and then. Um, yeah, then we can continue with additional signups. That would be fantastic. Um, I'll, also, I'll also submit one, the, the, the same that Andrea did, uh, 
around around uh, the lake um, because I have pictures of them and that way I can send you all the pictures. Yeah, duplicate reports is completely fine. More data is very good because you, when you look at the form, you'll see that I, I um, had you assess them in a number of different ways, uh, particularly if there's damage to assess the severity so that we can prioritize which pieces we are taking care of. So the more input you have on assessing damage or, or care, uh, the better it is to, to identify and quantify which ones need to be addressed. So that's awesome. Thank you. Work. Oh, I'm glad to hear the form is working for everyone. That's awesome. Yeah, awesome. I thought it was very, thank you, Angela, for putting it all together. Um, it says additional signups on our agenda, but I kind of feel like we've covered that, correct? Okay, excellent. So um, we are on to um, the Tully relocation, which you kind of hinted at. Right, so we have the three pieces that we need to relocate, but the biggest and most important one is a gathering of people, which is at Isaac Walton. So I took my kids fishing. By the way, uh, if you are a fisher person, they totally have a bait box underneath that dock. And we had so much fun fishing at Isaac Walton. So you should do that if you haven't recently. But I also visited a gathering of people and took some pictures. And uh, I think that we can keep it in the same park, just on the other side of um, just to the north. So is everybody pretty familiar with the park? You know the island, so there's the path that goes out and then there's a little roundabout. I even wonder if it would be a fun thing to put on the island. So- um, Oh! Would Steve, that gather enough people? Mm-hmm. Well, Steve think? Brunsweiler was saying something about that island not belonging to the sea but that's not right that's not what he said but he okay. said something about it because well, so we were talking about putting something there and he said that's not really ours or something i can't remember well so um i'm wondering if a couple of people because we technically don't have a maintenance committee but if um two people would like to join a task force with me we 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 signed up for a task force last month oh shoot is it in our minutes Yes, it is. I need to get the task force together and start investigating because the Army Corps of Engineers, they mean business. And when they decide, and I know we'll get enough, we'll get enough time, um, but that will, well, that'll sneak up on us pretty quickly. It says task force was created, Angela, Laurel, and Cindy. Oh, yay. Okay. I, I'll, be getting, I'll be letting you know. <laughs> <laughs> I might want to be on that task force. I, I do have a little bit of a problem with putting it on the island, mainly because it's supposed to be, as the name says, gather enough people. It's, a, it's about getting people on there together to create that movement. And I think it's going to be difficult to gather enough people when it's on an island. That's, that's my, my only issue. Oh, yeah. okay. It's not really an island. It's more a causeway. Can you walk? Can you walk? You can walk it? Up to it, but where it is now, it's basically on the bike path. So that's a lot more conducive to getting people together. Well, if it's easily accessible, then I would have no problem with it being on the island. So I will make a, a time for us to sit, look at some of the photos that I took at Isaac Walton and then we'll disperse and go walk about and investigate. Um, if we take it away from Isaac Walton, then that park won't have any public art? Yes, it, inside, the, inside the clubhouse it has one. Right, well, it's COVID closed. But yeah. who goes inside the clubhouse? Right. Right. Lots of people. So, but, uh, but is it open all the time? I don't think um, it's open all the time, but it's no. open. But there are a lot of yoga classes there. There's drumming classes there. I think there are restrooms. It's, you know, well used. Yeah. But I agree that that park should have something else too. I, I just think that um, I would not go in. I've been in that clubhouse. I've been here 49 years. Oh, gosh. And I've been in that clubhouse once. 
And so I think that having something around is pretty vital because I have walked it probably at least 49 times. So just a thought. Something outdoors. Yeah. 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 All right. So we will um, convene and uh, that really needs to be something when it comes to projects and the executive committee, we can talk about it later, but that one's going to climb up on the list. Okay, great. Um, and leave it to me to leave. Okay. So administrators report, Ms. Angela. Big thing is that I did finish the 2019 annual report and it is, um, uh, it's an info item for city council this upcoming Tuesday. So enjoy that one. It was, I hope it's created and yeah. And as soon as they take a look at it, then I'll share it with y'all. Um, yeah, it was a big year. It was a big, big year. So very exciting things. And really aside from the fact that I'm a, you know, fifth grade geometry teacher and a second grade literacy teacher and IPP administrator. Yeah, that's basically the- And an awesome AIP administrator. Awesome. You're All awesome. Right. So that is, that's pretty much uh, the report. Kim, can you think of anything? Oh, I do have one more thing. Holy moly. So I don't know if I said this the last time, but um, COVID presents all sorts of different opportunities. And one of them was that when the museum had closed, that there were a number of front desk people and some folks that were running out of things to do. And, um, you know, of course the city has been so accommodating, uh, but one of them is what is some of the work that we can do? So we started the biggest, baddest AIPP digitization process you have ever seen. Um, 100, at, to date, 181 hours of staff time was used to take care of two, I get the goosebumps, two huge file drawers of collections files. And then now they're going through the binders and are scanning all of our collection files. And Miss Eileen, she's right there, Eileen is going through those and adding accession numbers to all of our collection files. This kind of project could, it would have taken interns till the end of time. But because of this opportunity, um, we have probably the most comprehensive files uh, digitized. It's unbelievable. It's, so I just wanted you to know, um, I can't wait to put that in 2020's report that, um, wow, it was, it's, it wasn't me. It was all these people, but what a great opportunity. So Bravo. And Bravo. it's still going. I know. Amazing. I think that's it for me, Amy. Yep, we're good. I can't hear you. All right, I'm back. I just wanted to make sure y'all missed me a little bit. Um, okay, so um, I, of course, lost everything in my absence. I love technology, right? Um, We're there we on go. the new business. Yes, I'm, I'm there. New yeah. business, any new business. Um, new business, and I think under that is a subcategory that uh, we might want to hit on. A meeting date change. Ms. Angela, um, do you want to go for that, or would you like me to like talk about that a little bit? Yeah, go for it. So um, we've all discovered that, that we might have an issue with our technology having our meetings on the second Thursday of the month. So what we were talking about is if you are willing and you are able, I mean, I know my schedule is really full. It's been less full, but still full with um, COVID, but maybe possibly moving our meetings to the third Thursday of each month. And um, if that's a possibility for y'all, it would be great. 
Um, that way we can accommodate our technology needs with the city of Longmont. And um, we're open to discussion. So let's first open this to discussion. And then we would need to have a motion to go ahead and move this to the third Thursday. So um, let's open for discussion first. Anybody have any have no huge problem problems? Okay. Anybody? Um, Susan, you're raising your hand, my friend. Um, so, uh, Marcia, is does that pre present a problem for you since you're the liaison? Um, no, but our cat might. <laughs> yeah, because we want the cat. cat. Loves, we, my cat loves Zoom. Um, uh, no, I don't have. Uh, I did have something that is causing me to leave a little bit early tonight, but only a little bit early. So, and you know, this might not be forever, friends. Um, there might be a vaccine next year, right? <laughs> We're all crossing our fingers. Um, and then we can move, make another motion to move again. But if if we don't have any huge objections, I would propose that somebody move that we um, move our meetings to the third. Thursday of each month. Can we check with Randy since she's not available right now and Noah too? And we can. I will let you know that Angela has been bouncing emails off of all of us. Okay. And, and she did say that it would be okay with her. Oh, okay. Um, okay. But I mean, if you want to do this vote by um, email, we could probably propose that. Um, she did say that, I mean, Angela proposed it to um, leadership, um, our group, our executive committee. And Holly, I know I lost you there. You're in my pictures somewhere, but um, that this might be an issue. So, oh, there you are, Holly. Holly, is this an issue for you? Thumbs up, she says. And I don't think it's an issue for Randy. Um, well, she I would like to, we can. Um we can move just September's meeting now. And then we can, that, that's great. And then we could vote again in September. Um, I really do think Randy didn't, she said that was fine with her from, but we had a quite the email string, correct, Angela? Yeah. And so the biggest reason is because of course, um, our division, which Nicole is assisting us, I believe it's housing authority. Is, uh, it is, and my son's on that, so I know yeah. that one. Right, and, yeah. and you know, so, uh, um, that would really help. But I mean, and then it keeps some semblance of the same. Uh, but yeah, we can just move September is completely fine, and then discuss it again. So we would need a motion to move I'll September. Make a motion. I'll make a motion that we move the AIPP meeting uh, this coming September to the third. Thursday of the month. So we need a second? I'll I second. second. What All in favor? Uh, All I, opposed? Oh, okay. All opposed? We get, Excellent. The motion passes. I don't have a calendar in front of me. What day of the week is that? Or what date? September what? September 17. I'm like, mm -hmm. second of that, please. Um, I think it was um, Aaron. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So that yes, September seventeenth. That's correct. Okay. Thank you, Aaron. Thank you, Laurel. That is yeah. awesome. okay. So um, we're to the point. Is there any new business that um, Angela you need to bring up, and then we will move on to commissioner reports. All right, let's have some commissioner reports. I just want to thank you all. Um, my commissioner report is I have had a, this COVID thing has been very hard for me and my family. And I wanted to just say quickly that thank you for your grace and understanding. And um, yeah, thank you so much. Okay. Anybody else have a commissioner report? Um, I will have to say, I would like to let you know that I have a friend who has done a 700 mile walking challenge over Longmont, and she has said that she cannot believe how awesome our artwork is. So um, there's a lot of people doing that right now because of COVID, 
and um, that's pretty exciting. There are, there are a few benefits from COVID, eh? Number of them. I've got just one little comment. One of the one of the artworks that I checked um, for condition was the uh, Floridiano, the on the west side of town, the two big, and there are all these stones around it on the path, standing stones, you know, um, that, that, that surround the, the sculpture, and then they're all along the path in all directions out from it. And someone has gone out there and put a little rock on top of each of those standing stones. Yeah. <laughs> and I think that's great. This is obviously an interaction between someone and the artwork that this, uh, so I, whoever it was, I salute them for, for taking the trouble to put us, because there's dozens of those individual little pillars. Probably Isn't that four, great? Two feet, two feet high. Yeah, I think it's wonderful. It spoke to someone. Yes, definitely did. What other reports? Do you all have good news? We're not just here to like, we, we've done very well on time tonight. Um, we're only at a 7 considering our agenda. So any other good news you have? I see Kim raising her hand. This is totally relevant for the commission, um, and I'm not sure if it's been shared with you, but the museum and the Art and Public Places program has been successful in achieving Tier 2 SCFD status. Oh, my gosh. It's fabulous. What it means for us, so last year, for instance, the museum and AIPP received about $23,000 from SCFD. Um, starting in September for the next distribution, we'll be receiving $125,000. Wow. So that is an amazing, amazing increase. And the way that it will work for next year, so try to follow me here, we submitted in um, June, uh, for year two using our most recently completed fiscal year. So that was 2019. And so we submitted that in June and we were, we got the notice about that. I'm, uh, I'm losing track of time. I'll say a month ago. Um, and then SCFD has just been bombarded because of course loads of institutions who are in this tier, they've been decimated. They haven't been able to do any program. They haven't been able to open their doors. It's been very, very challenging for them. And so um, as of August the 27th, when the SCFD board meets again, um, it should be approved that what they will be doing going forward for the next fiscal year is that basically everything is frozen. So everything that we submitted for 2020, we will resubmit for 2021. And so the threshold will be frozen. They are gonna be looking at our 2019 fiscal year and so basically it's just status quo for the next cycle. And so what that will mean is that we're safe for the next year. Wow. Um, yeah, it's a really big deal, you guys. That <laughs> so, is so huge, Kim. That's it's great. A, it's so a big deal. 21 and 22? Uh, it'll, it's, it's, not, it's the way that they distribute the money is, it doesn't make sense to me to tell you the truth, but um, so we submitted in June and they've got all the approvals and the distributions actually start in September. There are four distributions and they start in September and they go into next year. And so then for, for next year, what will happen is that we will submit in May or June and then the distributions will start again in the following September. Um, so it, 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 the cycles are a little odd. You're guaranteed two years of that yes. two tier status. Yes. That's yes. great. And ideally what it does for us is that, you know, we will be able to reach the threshold in the following year. Um, they are not making any promises about how they're going to do this. They are going to um, adjust their expectations kind of according to what they're seeing. Because you, you probably are aware that um, we're headed into a, a pretty severe recession, I think. And so what I think that they are looking at is that they're going to kind of be responsive to what we're seeing in the economy. And so it'll be, bye, Marsha. Bye, Marsha. Um, bye, Marsha. And so I think bye, that they'll, 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 they'll respond uh, kind of accordingly. Um, 
here's the irony of it, just for insider information, is that we weren't that far off of hitting the threshold even in this environment. And so the museum and AIPP have actually done really quite well, um, especially in comparison to other organizations. And the reason that that's true is because the city of Longmont has continued to pay people. And that is an enormous part of what we get to report to SCFP. And so, um, you know, I think that once they start shuffling through what the future is going to look like, the museum and AIPP is actually going to fare quite well. That's my my impulse is is to think that we're going to do really well going forward. That's, so that's a big deal. And you have face coming on the twenty eighth. That's right. We, yeah, I mean, again, silver linings in terms of coronavirus, we were able to partner with LDDA and we've got face coming. We actually have had a lot of things that have happened as a result of, of the quarantine and, and closing our doors. And I'm feeling extremely fortunate and really thankful to the staff. And I start getting teary every time I talk. Yeah, me too. Um, but yeah, everybody has been remarkably resourceful and remarkably creative. And yeah, so we're doing things like face. <laughs> Thank you, Kim. I mean, good news is good news. I mean, I really, in the, last, the first three or four months I struggled and I don't want this to be new, the new normal. I really don't. Um, I heard today, I teach at Front Range, for those of you who don't know me, and we probably won't be back on campus until summer of next year. Yeah, it's kind of scary. Any other new business or great news to share with our team? I have one little piece of news. Um, a couple of, probably about a, a month or six weeks ago, we had um, kind of quickly submitted some suggestions for questions for city council when they pulled in new potential commissioners. And I don't know how that went or if we had any luck in getting some of that in place. Marsha, it's gone, I think. Yeah, but we can ask Erin. How did it go? Erin <laughs> might be able to help us by telling us some of the questions they asked her. <laughs> oh, I, I don't remember the questions because it was a very stressful weekend for me um, with everything that was going on. I was in a hotel at the time, moved out of my house, but anyways, for another time. Um, but no, they did ask me questions. Marsha was very thorough. Um, she took ownership of the interview from the get-go, and um, she said, here's, you know, some questions that the committee had for you, and oh, God, I, I really can't remember, but... That's Okay. It felt How like a job. My interview was only supposed to be, I think, five to ten minutes long. It was about fifteen minutes. I was the first. Whoa! One of the day. Wow! I was the first one of the day, and it felt like a job interview. It really did. Like I was like, that's it. That that that. I hate yes. to say this, but that's a really exciting thing because a few of us were on this, and we we're like, wow. You know what? Like I could have got in there and said, um, "I'm Amy," and. I like to eat pizza, and they're like, "Great, you can go now." So no, no it was that's very really great, Aaron. Thank no, you mine, for sharing that. Mine was just five minutes, and they said, "What what artwork do you like, and why do you want to be on the commission?" Okay, next. Oh no, it, and Marcia made it very clear that the time commitment was more than six hours per month, and yeah, no, it was very thorough. It was a little weird seeing the mayor in a t-shirt, um, but other than that, it was very thorough. It's kind of always a little weird, but seeing the mayor, but. So well, I have humorous. the questions that we that we submitted. Are you interested in hearing them quickly? Yes. No? Yeah. Sure, why not? Uh, we oh. said uh, the first question was, "What excites you about art and culture in Longmont?" And then we prefaced by saying, "We're looking for someone who not only recognizes the power of art in public places, but is thinking about culture as a whole and how we can create a larger social mm -hmm. and cultural impact through AIPP." Yeah. Did they ask you that? Yes. Good. Ooh. We also said, what are you interested in bringing to the commission and what mm -hmm. do you seek to get out of the commission? Yep, both of those were asked. What does it mean for you to have a commitment to diversity, inclusivity, equity, and accessibility? How have you demonstrated that commitment in your personal or professional life? And how would you see it? How would you see yourself demonstrating it here? So those were our three top questions. And those then, were all included. 
Yes. And then our other potential questions were, how does your current term of the position fit in your other responsibilities. AIPP has a three-year term, two-year term limit, and we're seeking members who would commit to serving at least the full term. Mm -hmm. um, what other boards are you involved in? And are you a member of any cultural institutions or what cultural institutions do you follow or visit? Um, and then for renewing commissioners, what worked well? So we asked for feedback um, and where do we need to improve? So all of those were asked because yeah, I was coming up with things on the That's fly. That's fantastic. Yeah. Yay. Where's Holly? Holly, Angela. Yeah. Holly. Yay, Holly. Amy. Karen, thanks Angela. for letting us put you on the spot for these. You oh, probably oh, had oh. no idea we we're going to ask you this, but thank you. No, no that's fine. <laughs> it shows Betty, your commitment to it, so I was happy to. Well, and yeah. I have to say, I'm I'm very impressed with their um, recognition that that this was kind of needed. So I'm pleased that they were able to actually implement it. Me too. Oh, my friends, it's so great to see your faces. Do we have any other input or things that we need to add tonight? I think this is a great meeting. I thought it was a great um, meeting. And so, Angela, would you like to comment, like, how are we going to go forward? Are we shooting for September, our third week in September, to get um, on the uh, agenda again? I mean, this, this is the new normal. The city agenda. Yeah, so this, this is the new normal. Um, because we are now able to uh, accomplish having an open meeting, but not having to live stream all the time. Yeah, again, it does require city resources other than myself and Kim. Uh, but if if we decide to move forward with the third Thursday of every month, uh, we just get on the city calendar and that's going to be that. So um, rather than where it was previously, which was you really only got to participate um, with with pressing, you know, pressing things on the agenda. So um, yeah, I think we're cooking with gas. I think we're this is this is us moving forward. So, and this is backwards. But Aaron, I just thought of something. I bet you, if you wanted to go with any of us to do our maintenance reports, those of us who haven't finished or done them, um, I'd be happy to mask up and go with you. Or I'm sure any of us would. Um, and we would we would love to have you along so you can see what we do. It's basically like looking and admiring. So let us know, okay? Okay. Thanks. And we're so glad to have you on board. Any last feedback before we move on and adjourn for the evening? Well, I feel really um, fortunate to be a part of this team, and, and um, I would like to. You muted, muted, muted. She's probably looking for a motion to adjourn. Um, I just wanted to, um, I would like to move that we motion to adjourn at 724 on 82020. I All in favor. Uh, All opposed. Thank you, everyone. Can we get a second on that? So I guess we can, we, we can go now. We can't talk about extracurricular activities, but thank you, everyone. It was lovely. Did we, did we get a second on that motion? I second it. Thank you. Thank Andrea. you, Andrea. Okay, you're all wonderful. Thank you so much. Bye. Have a great night, and see, see you. See you in a month. Thank you, Amy. Bye, bye. Thank, Thank you. you, Andrea. Thank you, everybody. Bye. Bye. Thanks, everybody. Bye.